Greetings. So, uh, I got a question a day ago from um, Desert Wolf, and he wonders if it's possible to pop up or float an image across the screen. Um, and yes, that's very possible. So, I have created this silly little image, and we will float this across the screen. So, I'll just put it in here, and I already assume you know the basics of this program. So I'll just make it a little bit bigger, you know, the track, and then I will take this and I will make sure it occupies a little bit less of the screen, like this. And we will animate it so it crosses the screen like this. So with it outside of the frame, Let's see. Down here you have the position, the timeline for the position, and you have create keyframes and delete keyframes. So just let it be where you want it to start, and just click the plus sign to create a keyframe, then move this frame where you want it, all the way here, and I will place the timeline bar where I want it to be and just create a new keyframe. Now, when I move this, oops, what's happened? Come on. And there we go. Okay, so it just didn't uh, get that I actually created the new keyframe. <laughs> but now it works. So, we can save and see how it looks. Go to the beginning. And here you go. It just moves across the screen. So, if you wanted wanted it to move a little bit, you can do that as well. Like take it here, you know, a couple of seconds in, and move this a little bit up, for example, and then insert a new keyframe and move it a little bit further. Insert a new keyframe, move it further. Insert new keyframe, you know and just do like this. And then save. Let's see. Yeah, beautiful animation, right? <laughs> so, you know, I can fade it in if I want, fade it out. Now, you could do this with text as well, surely. So, cre create or click a new track and then insert text media I'll just let the sample text be there and make it like this. Up here in duration, you might want to set it to... No, not yet, not yet. Let's first animate it. Okay, I want it a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Like that. And in bold. Okay, so... Now, drag this out as well. Let's see. Can you please... Please? Oh, yeah. like that. This is the text track. So I open that. And I want it to fall down like this. So I'll just begin there. And here with the position at the beginning, I set a keyframe. Then it's set right, yes. Then I move it. Let's see. Perhaps here then move it all the way down there. It doesn't really match this, but we'll fix that later. Then create a keyframe. And then you see it works here. So, save, go out, and see. Oh, that's really too quick. <laughs> that's too quickly. But, you get the you get the idea, right? Now, if you wanted to make the text uh, be a little bit more funny, you could first ensure that it doesn't fly by so quickly. Perhaps like that. 
Let's see. Still a little bit too quickly, so I'll just drag the keyframe further. Let's see. And now suddenly it's not here at all. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's a little bit better, but I'm just going to remove the face like that. But I want it even slower. Like that. Okay. So it's there for about two seconds, right? Now, in in this uh, text uh, modifier or whatever, you know, you get there by clicking this. You have the duration. So now I can set it for like three seconds if that's how long the animation lasts. And I can add an animation. For example, bounce. And you will see here on its track how long that animation lasts. Where this little indent is, is where the animation stops and starts over again. So now you can see it's jumping like that. If I move this, it will probably move closer. Yeah, more like that. Because that's the center of the text, believe it or not. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty funny. Total chaos, yes. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, that's how you can animate elements. And it doesn't matter if this is a video clip or whatever. You can animate them in the same way. Anyway, so yeah, hope that helps and have a great day.